first of all, don't use Amico velvet sprays for anything that you could brush on. Okay, I like to use them with stencils um, on my slabs. These are wet slabs of clay. It's porcelain. Um, when, what I like about it is I can spray on one layer for a very light translucent color, um, or I can keep spraying on for a more opaque color, and I can blend them as well. Um, since I'm using multiple colors, I blow dried the actual color in between so that the stencil wouldn't stick to the wet um, underglaze. Uh, now I'm going to use this. I'm kind of creating sort of a plaid look. I like to use um, slabs in a way that it's almost like fabric. Um, so I like it so it's easy to switch from red to green, um, where a spray gun is so much cleanup in between colors. The red and the green are about the same opacity. Um, that's maybe about two or three layers of the red and green. I just keep going over it for two or three layers. Um, and then with the blue, I wanted a little bit lighter a uh, tint of blue, a little bit more translucent. Um, so this is just going to be one layer of blue. And I also sprayed it a little bit farther back, which gets it a little bit lighter as well. Um, so you can definitely control the opacity and color with the length that you spray away from the clay and the, um, the number of layers. Um, this is my spray booth that I have. And so um, here I'm doing sort of a faded ombre look where I go from like a really intense um, opaque red at the bottom, kind of gradually blending it up to uh, lighter red and then just to the white underglaze at the top. So I do like using it for the blended look. Um, you just have to watch for overspray. Again, my spray booth is on and that's why I'm not wearing a mask. Um, the other one where I wasn't doing it in the spray booth, I was wearing a mask. Um, it's important that you're not breathing in this. Uh, the main thing I had was getting the stencils tight enough around a curved object to spray it without a lot of overspray. Um, you definitely don't want to spray it for too long because you will get the drip. Um, to so to avoid drip, just kind of do a spray and then let go. Um, here's a different use of stencil. And again, I like it because I can easily switch in between colors. Um, and you can see that I just do one spray at a time. And if I decide, okay, I want a little bit more color than that, then I just do another spray, um, keeping the stencil in the same spot. And then you can really decide how much color you want or how see-through you want it just by spraying, taking a look back, do another spray, um, and you can get different tints and shades of the same color. Again, this is just a wet slab of porcelain that I rolled out very thin. And um, I, after I do these with the stencils and the velvet sprays, I put uh, rice paper decals over them, which does help to protect it as well. 